Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do rapid reviews on three knives real quick for you. Um, I just wanted to knock these out. we got a couple of budget offerings right here from Blue Creek Knives, and then from Urban EC Supply, we have a hand-rubbed and titanium version of the F5.5 with the Lynch Deep Carry Clip. Um, this is an absolutely fantastic knife. This is going to be real quick because you guys have probably seen a bunch of videos on this from me. This is my favorite current production knife you can get. I say that because they're, whoop, they're available pretty frequently. They're always coming out with different models. They're always doing a pre-order or they have them in stock or whatever. You can get them on the secondary. So, um, it's much more, um obtainable than a lot of other uh knives in this sort of category with the you know exclusives or boutique brands or whatever um this is done by riot it's titanium m390 on this one they do have lmax versions but you can see this one is an m390 um this one has the hand rubbed satin which is absolutely gorgeous i didn't think i'd like that because i was a big fan of the belt satin i love a uh, riot belt satin but this is fantastic and it really knocks the edges around the hole down so i don't feel like i'm getting torn up when i flick it which is great because that was sort of an issue on the other ones you get your skin like all caught in here and everything no issue there. You have no detent lash, no side to side. I got skips in here. Feels fantastic. No uh, pivot lash of any kind. Really good action. Um, it drops to my nail. Smooth shake down. You got that beautiful Voxnez jimping. This is a Vox design. Fits my hand perfectly. I know this design doesn't work for everybody, but I think for most it does. Lanyard hole back here. And again, you have this really cool Lynch deep carry clip. Uh, they did have some issues with fitment on these. I ended up swapping out the body screws for the clip screws that worked out. And I think they are sending out new screws to everybody. I love the clip though. It came out really good. I think it looks great and it functions fantastically. Just one of the best all-time knives in my opinion. Um, and that's the F 5.5 from Urban EDC Supply. Link down below. They are sold out of the hand rubbed version as of this moment, they do have the brown micarta version, though, and I believe those are like two twenty nine. So next up, we have the Petrified Fish Havrog. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Um, I've checked a couple times. I just keep forgetting the name. This one's in K110, which is not my favorite steel. It's basically D2, but it is black washed. So for me, that does excuse it a bit because you get that toughness and good edge retention from D2. But... Um, you don't have to worry about corrosion because it's coated. So unless you get a stone wash or satin version, um, I think this is fine. We have a little bit of pivot play here or detent lash, uh, but not the end of the world there. It's a little thick for my taste. Um, real quick, I'll grab the calipers. Looking at, yep, 0.6 on the... Uh, thickness, which is, you know, a little bit thick for me. Again, you have these extra little ridges, and it is a bit contoured, which is nice. You do have a milled clip, which is titanium. That's really nice. This guy comes in at $53.99. I think that price is really good for what you get with the steel. Nice thin grind, flat grind, uh, black micarta scales, steel liner lock, and a titanium clip. I mean, it's pretty hard to beat for $53. bucks. you are on bearings. Um, Looks like standard 5 mil bearings, but I could be wrong about that. Um, there is a little bit of stick on this example. I believe these are made at the same place where the Tibian or Citibian is made. And kind of makes sense. Um, it feels much like the stick I had on that one Citibian. Um and it's just something in QC. I don't think that they it bothers them uh, because I had one that got through as well. And it's not bad. It's really just a little bit, and it slides right over. It's not like it's it's stopping me from disengaging. So that's sort of a uh, dealer's choice situation there if you care or not. But 
Um, a little bit of lash, a little bit of stick. Not the best example right here, but definitely a cool knife. Ergos, it fits pretty well in my large glove size hand back here. And then you have a nice flat spot right here to slide up to. No jimping up here. It would be cool to have that Vox style jimping up here. It's all back here where you're not going to use it. Um, you can get down. I love the blade shape. It's sort of a, a sheep's foot spear point. Um, definitely my style. You can get down and use that tip real nice. Again, you have that nice thin edge. I do like these triangle thumb studs. They're pretty cool. They seem to be made of G10 or G Carta or something. Um, they fire really well. The detent is done well. You can reverse flick it really well. Left-handed, it's easy to manipulate. Right-handed, again, easy to manipulate, no problem. You can slow roll it out. So these studs offer really good grip. Um, I gotta say, I do enjoy that, being able to just pop it out like that or flick it if you want. Um, lots of lots of options on this guy. Dead nut centered, and uh, yeah. So this is the Havrog from Petrified Fish. Again, uh, this one and the next one were sent to me by Blue Creek Knives. Brian is a great dude. Uh, you can use my code LEFTY10 over there to save 10% off on your Petrified Fish on whatever you want. Um, he's got Finch, he's got Rosecraft, he's got ZT, he's got a lot of cool stuff. So definitely check out Blue Creek Knives. It's linked below. And again, you can use the code LEFTY10. You'll get free shipping, all that good stuff. The next one is a Honey Badger. I always forget the name of the brand, something Western active, I forget. Uh, but it's the Honey Badger. This is the Warren Cleaver Small. Um, I got to say, it is small, but it's in the name, so that's fair. Um, these are creeping in price, so I didn't realize. I thought they were like... 30 bucks still, but this is like 55 bucks, 60 bucks. Um, and you get D2 and FRN. I'm not sure if I dig the price on that. Now, use the code LEFTY10, knock off 10%, and get free shipping. You're out the door on one of these for 50 bucks ish. I could live with that. I could live with that. Um, but I do think they're starting to creep up there a little bit. Um, so you have this satin grind, which looks cool on the D2. Again, this is a satin. This is a black wash. So not as happy with the D2 on this one, just because I personally would probably rust it. But it all depends on your environment and situation. Most people aren't like that. Um, I love the little Honey Badger logo. This is actually the first Honey Badger I think I've had on the channel. Nice and small, so if you have a smaller hand, I mean, it does just fit me, but I wish the flipper wasn't there. Flipper delete would be dope. I love that hole shape, just unique and interesting, yet it works really well. The detent on this is dialed. Um, I can really fire this guy out. Oh, Right-handed, left-handed, no problem. You can thumb flick it. You can slow roll it. You can uh, flip, flip it. You just have a lot of... Ooh, I gave it the Dirk warning there. Do you see that? <laughs> that is kind of fun, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I think it's cool. I like the uh, deep carry clip. Got the wire clip seats in there. That's really nice. Everything's countersunk. Um, it actually goes in through the behind the scale. You can flip that over to lefty, which is really cool. Again, we have a little bit of stick. Uh, oh, no. Seems like there's a lot of oil on there. So I'm guessing... Let me just... I did try to clean off the uh, Havrog as well. That did not help the lock stick. But I'm guessing on this one... Yep, it's gone. I didn't notice it before. That's why I was curious. <laughs> I like doing that now. Let me try it lefty. <laughs> Um, the blade shape is unique and interesting. It's not my style, but unique and interesting. Got that FR on. You can get down there. You got that Warren Cliff sort of blade. Um, yeah, you could definitely use this. I think it's a great little backup knife or uh, budget primary or whatever you want to make it. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody's different, but I do dig this knife. I'd like to try a full size um, or a medium one, maybe with a, a more of a just traditional blade shape. Not the biggest fan of this uh, short, cleavery, worn cliff. So 
Um, that's it. Uh, you can pick this up at Blue Creek Knives as well. Use code LEFTY10. That's the Honey Badger Small Worn Cleaver, the Petrified Fish Havrog, and then from Urban EC, we have the Hand Rubbed and Titanium F5.5. So there we go, guys. Let me know what you think. That is some rapid reviews from me, guys. What's that? Three minutes of pop. Nailed it. Love you guys. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.